Welcome back to the armory. So we're going to get back onto this uh, helmet build now. Or this right, now we've got to a stage now where it's all been primed up. This is, I'm probably going to put another couple of coats of primer on, but I just want to show you what this looks like before I start sanding. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a wet sand. I'll show you some of the imperfections it has at the moment, and then I'll show you the imperfections it has or what it looks like after we've had the wet sand. And then we're going to go for a, a, a probably another coat of, we're going to start with a grey. I'll probably use the, the red primer until I'm run out. I've only got a little bit left. So we'll go red primer again uh, before we do another wet sand and then we're going to go grey primer. So yeah, you can see that it still has imperfections on the top, top areas around here. Yeah, there, you can see it there. So we still got imperfections there and we still got some imperfections down in the bottom there. So what we're going to do now we're going to give this a wet sand and that the wet sand will basically take off all the well not it won't take it all off but it'll take off some of the red primer and the low spots it will leave the primer inside the low spot so i can see what needs to be done uh, and where all the low spots are shouldn't be any high spots in there if anything it's going to be low spots so say it's got that dent there i don't know where that's come from i think it's been too close to heat or something uh, but actually kind of looks quite cool uh, so when i saw white uh, i'll just weather that i'll just battle damage that bit in so say it's not going to go on helmet but if anyone wants it if anyone can uh, make it work on any of their projects then you're more than welcome to have it just uh, get in contact with us and uh, yeah i'll get it sent up to you and uh, yeah so let's get on to a bit of uh, wet sanding right then what i'm going to do i'm going to start with a wet sand and we're going to start on a 400 so we're going to start on a 400 with a wet sand on this and uh, what i've done i've got some warmish water and uh, i put some dish soap in there as well just to give it a little bit of a, a bit of a froth so when i'm actually sanding it's not going to dig in it's going to glide across the top of the uh, across the top of the model uh, right so that's what i'll do is i'll shove it on time lapse because it's going to be a bit boring now so Right then, so there you go. That's you've basically seen what I did there. If you've been following these tutorials, then I haven't put a lot of time into this whatsoever with any kind of any means of the word of being difficult. It came straight off the printer, and I gave it a good sand straight off the printer to try and knock some of those layer lines down, which I did. I then give it a coat of red primer or two coats of red primer and then I had a sand then I put another two coats of red primer and give it another sand uh, so we're now we're on our, our fourth, fourth primer and about three rounds of sanding that that round of sanding that wet sanding was with a 400 right if I'll just get the camera and I'll show you what it looks like right then so that's that round of wet sanding done I can tell you that there is no layer lines left on this at all. As I say, and you've seen the process that I used, the way that I did it, there's no filler on here whatsoever. It's literally PLA straight off the printer and just sanding. And I haven't done put a lot of sanding into this at all. So at this stage now, I can see exactly what's going on. I need to now get this back to one color. And what I'm going to do, I will give it a grey. I will give it a grey primer coat, or it'll have two grey grey primer coats. I'll let them dry, and then it'll have a dry sand, and then I will give it another two coats of grey primer, uh, and that'll be it, and that'll be ready for paint then. So I'll get on with cleaning this up and getting it grey primed. Right out in the spray booth, well, the shed. Right, I'm gonna get this uh, sprayed up now. We're gonna get a coat of grey primer on here. We're gonna have two coats of grey primer. Remember, this to show me now, because I'm getting it all to a neutral color, all one color, it's gonna show me any imperfections that are left in this print which I can then work on. So 
actually looking really good. I can see one at the moment. It's at the top at the front. But remember, this has had no Bondo, no filler, no resin. There's nothing's been put on here apart from straight off of the printer and sand. It's been sanded from a 120 all across the helmet. And that, once I'm happy with that, that it looks okay, that there's not too many layer lines left in it, then I will then hit it with, start hitting it with primer. Because what you've got to remember is layers of coat, uh, layers of coat, layers of paint on top of obviously your model, it will make it thicker and thicker. As long as you sand in between all those coats, then you will get it all nice and smooth. So right, we'll let this dry. We'll give it about 10, give it about 15 minutes. We'll let this dry, give it about 15 minutes. We'll come back to this and we'll give it another coat. Uh, and then we'll take it inside and we'll, then we'll, uh, we'll give it a sand. All right. Right then, that's been about 20 minutes on this. That's nice and dry now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it another coat. Also, don't forget, if you like, subscribe and click the notification button and it'll give you a notification of the next video when I bring it out. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to give this another spray. So this is the second coat of grey primer. And if I must say myself, it is actually looking really really good i mean there is going to be areas that are going to need working on that's without a doubt isn't it you know it's not going to be perfect and straight off but i mean just showing you this is the way that i do it I'm not saying i do it the right way i'll do it the wrong way everyone's got their own ways of doing things but this is just my way it works for me I don't tend to use as much material as what other makers and because I don't use the filler and the bondos and the other bits and pieces. I mean, I will use fiberglass, but that's mainly just to reinforce the insides if needed. Right, so there you go. That's the second coat of grey primer. Right, back in the armory. Here we are, it's still drying at the moment. It's quite kind of nice and warm out here. I've got the heater on at the moment. I'm gonna go and put it in the, in the drying room in a minute, which is the downstairs toilet, because it's nice and warm. So it's small and it's got a tiny radiator in there. So there you go. About those imperfections that I was still talking about, you've got, I don't know if you can see, just a little bit there, and a little bit on the top there, but to be honest, you always get that thickness on top of the pe uh, uh, of the last bit of the print bit at the top, especially on domes. But you can get it down. I mean, even on a big dome, I don't really cover it in anything. I just sand it, uh, sand it hard enough, and yeah, it goes. But this PLA that I use, you know, it's, it's really easily sanded, to be honest. Shove the headphones in, shove a YouTube on, I don't know, sit there for 10, 15 minutes, and you know, a bit of sanding, and, and, and you're away. So suddenly all of a sudden it's done and I mean, I'm really happy with this. I mean, if anyone thinks that I'm doing something wrong or thinks I was lying by saying I don't use fillers and stuff, this is the, this is the proof. There's no filler on here. It's, it's literally just paint, paint and preparation. It, it's all in the keys, you know, prep work is in the key. Your paint work is only as good as the prep work you put in. And this has still got probably another four sands to go on it, another two coats. What I should do on the next coat, I should put another color on top, but I shall like mist it on top. So it's not gonna be a thick color at all. It'd be a really light misting. So when I sand, any of the color, the last color I've put on, if I can see that, then that's a low spot. That's a, a nice nice way to show you. So you put your base coat on, then give it a mist of another coat, and then you give it a sand. And when the like the mist coat, let's call it, on top is all gone in the high areas, wherever you've got that colour still on the print or on the or on whatever you whatever you're painting, then obviously that's a low spot. So that needs that's when you know you need to put a bit more time in those areas. But you know this is this has come out really well. Look. 
that dent has actually worked in my favour. I'm probably going to, you can see some steel, I've got to do some work down here. But that's just, that's just sanding, it really is. I'll probably get a file on there actually. And it's not so bad over that side, but again, I'll get a file on there, sand that. I don't mind making things look terrible because I know at the end they're going to look good. So there we are. I'm just going to let this dry now. I'm going to go and put it in the drying room. And the next time you see it, we're, what we'll do is, and not, it's not going to be sanded. It's going to have a, uh, we'll, have, we'll put the red primer back on top. Uh, we'll let that dry and then we'll do the sanding. And what we'll do is we will do another wet sand on top of that. And then it'll be one more coat probably of the red Depend on how much uh, primer I've got left. I, as I say, I need to make a need to make an order on paint. So I haven't really got a lot of paints around at the moment, as in primers. I think I've got one more tin of primer left, but I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look. Yeah, but we'll get it primed up uh, and ready for the first coat of white paint. <laughs>